Hey, welcome back guys to 404 Tech. I am Vishal and this is a review and how to flash video of Cyanogen Mode 13 which is based on Android Marshmallow. So let's get started. In order to install this ROM, your phone should be rooted and you have a custom recovery called TWRP install. Now go to settings, go to about phone, tap the build number several time and you will unlock the developer option. Now go to developer option, enable advanced reboot and enable USB debugging. Now press the power button, select reboot and select into recovery. Now after rebooting in recovery, go to wipe, select Dalvik caches system and caches and swipe to continue. Now go back, go to home, select install, navigate to the zip file for the room and the google app, select both this file and swipe to continue flash. After flashing, your phone will take around 15 minutes to reboot and you will be rebooting in Android Marshmallow. I have been using this room from past couple of weeks and I have found that this room can be your daily driver. I have did onto the benchmark test on this room and it got a score of around 31.5k which is pretty good as compared to the stock Cyanogen mode 12.1. Also, apps open very quickly, there is no random reboot, no freezing of screen whatsoever. Now let's talk about the heating issue. Yes, this room poses heating issue. On normal usage, it gets slightly warm on the back and on heavy usage, it tends to get very hot and the temperature may reach up to 50 degrees Celsius near the camera region. Now let's talk about the additional feature which this room gives you. So it provides you ambient display, Google Now on tab which is a great feature of Android Marshmallow, customizable lock screen, built-in super SU support, detailed info about battery and memory, do not disturb and gestures. Now let's talk about general features of this room. In app drawer we do have vertical scrolling, uh, quick scrolling slider and these settings can be changed. Also the apps open very quickly and this room also has OTG support. Now let's talk about the cons of this room. The output from the earpiece is very low. If you are in a public place then you won't able to hear the call. Also the built-in camera is very bad, it's slow and it don't have any filter. And also there are some apps which are not supported by this room. Now let's talk about the battery life. On normal usage, the battery juice will last you for the whole day. The average screen on time which I am getting on this room is around 3.4 hours which is quite good. Also from the graph you can see that the phone tends to go in doze mode and save a lot of power while idling. If you don't know what is doze mode you can click on that i button for the more info about doze. Okay. So thank you so much guys for watching this video. If you find this video useful make sure to hit like and also subscribe to our channel. Thank you.